to story time. So wonderful to have you here with me again today. So we are working our way through winter time, aren't we? We've gotten through Christmas, we've got through New Year's, we've had some really nice weather. Um, and then hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, we'll have had some more snow, right? Because even though snow is not Miss Kinsey's favorite part of winter time, I know that my friends probably really love playing in the snow. And so I really hope that there is snow for you guys. Um, so now that we've made it through our holiday time, we are gonna start talking about a few of Miss Kinsey's favorite things about winter time. And today we are gonna be talking about one of my favorite treats, and that's hot chocolate. Oh, I love a big, warm glass of hot chocolate after coming in from playing outside in the winter. It's one of my favorite things. So we are gonna read three stories that kind of talk about some of the different things that we do in winter time, and they all have hot chocolate in them. We are gonna dance to a fun hot chocolate song, and then I'm gonna show you a little craft that we can do. Are you guys ready? Let's make sure that you're ready. So let's get all of our wiggles out, okay? Arms straight up in the air. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle this way. Wiggle that way. Shake and make a funny sound. <laughs> Good job. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Good job. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Okay, we're almost ready. Do you guys remember what we need to say? Mm -hmm. Ready? I am great. I am smart. I am strong. I am loved. And today is a wonderful day. It is, isn't it? It is a wonderful day to get to spend some time with you, my fantastic friends, reading some fun stories about winter time and hot chocolate. Okay, so our first story is called Snowy Blowy Winter, and it is by Bob Raska and illustrated by Judy Steed. Now, the really cool thing about this book is that it talks about winter time in adjectives. Adjectives is a really fancy word of saying words that describe, right? So if we say that it was a beautiful sunset, beautiful is describing our sunset, right? So the, this book is full of words that describe what it's like in winter time, okay? So let's see if you guys recognize some of these words or if you would use these words too to describe winter time. Okay, here we go. A snowy, blowy winter. All right. Here's our title page. Let me make sure that you guys can see this. Do, do, do. Which way do we need to go? This way is the way that we need to go. There we go. So they are riding on a tube, right? And they've got one puppy in the tube with them and one puppy has fallen out. Oh dear. But he's following along, isn't he? Have any of you ever been tubing or sledding in the winter time? It's pretty fun, isn't it? Go super fast down the hill. Okay, here we go. Snowy, blowy. Windows are glowy. It gets dark fast in the winter time, doesn't it? So we do have our lights on a little bit more. So the windows do all look glowy. Frosty, freezy, stuffy, and sneezy. Strappy, zippery, icy, and slippery. That looks fun. 
fun, doesn't it? Angels are lovely. Sidewalks are shovely. Ooh, breathy, nippy. Coco is sippy. Here they are. Mm, he's got a cute little mug to drink his cocoa out of. Ooh, rosy, cozy. Everyone's dozy. Many animals sleep all winter long, don't they? Ooh, messy, gooey, mmm, melty and chewy. Yum. Seedy. We have to feed the birds, don't we? Oh, squirrely. Look at those squirrels up in the tree. Will spring come early? Six more weeks of snowy, blowy, glowy, frosty, freezy, stuffy, sneezy, strappy, zippery, icy, slippery, lovely, shovely, breathy, nippy, sippy, rosy, cozy, dozy, messy, gooey, melty, chewy, seedy, squirrely, winter. <laughs> Would you guys use any of those words to describe winter time? Mm, I liked the stuffy and sneezy words <laughs> a lot of times because the weather is so cold outside it makes our noses kind of snuffly, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so before we read our next story, let's make sure that we stretch our bodies out, okay? Arms straight up in the air and stretch as high as you can go. Straight up. Good job. Stretch to the side. Fantastic. Now the other side. Gotta be fair, right? <laughs> now, arms straight out, palms up, and stretch this way that way. Good job. Pull your arms in. Give yourself a big squeeze. You guys are doing such a great job. All right. So our next book is called Snow Day and it is by Candace Ransom and illustrated by Erica Niza. So if any of your older brothers or sisters or cousins, anything like that, if they go to school they know all about what a snow day is. And maybe you do too. Because maybe on snow days, when the kid, older kids can't go to school or mommies and daddies can't go to work, maybe you do some of these fun things with your family too. Okay? Let's find out what they do on their snow day. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna pull you even closer to make sure you can see these gorgeous pictures, okay? Got it? First one flake, then millions more. Have you guys ever sat at the window and just watched it snow and snow? Snow falls outside our front door. a lot of snow coming down, isn't it? Oh, cars are stuck. No school today. Now we can go out and play. Bunny hat on you? Too cute. Cannot zip my coat. Lost my boot. Sometimes getting ready to go outside and play in the snow is quite a struggle, isn't it? <laughs> Off we jump. My feet sink deep. Fluffy bushes look like sheep. <gasps> Ch 
giant tracks. Is it a bear? No, just a boy with bright red hair. Pull the sled up that big hill. Slide down too fast. Take a spill. Pile up snow to build a fort. Your wall is tall. Mine is short. You throw first. Missed by a mile. Splat! Got your hat! <laughs> Made you smile. Snowball fights are very fun, aren't they? Freezing hands, cold, drippy nose. Inside my boots, chilly toes. We sip cocoa from a mug. Blankets keep us nice and snug. Rumble, roar, here comes the plow. Sleep tight, street. All clear now. Hey, wake up, no time to play. Back to school till the next snow day. They cleaned the sidewalks and cleaned the streets and so it's back to school and work we go, right? Snow days usually don't last for too long around here. They like to keep us moving, don't they? All right, so the song that I'm going to play for you guys is the hot chocolate song from um, Polar Express. Have you guys all seen that movie? If not, it is a fantastic movie and this song is one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. So there's not really any actions that go along with it. So you guys just dance how you want to. I'll dance how I want to and we'll just have fun um, listening to this song, okay? Let me get it pulled up here and we will get started. YouTube is my friend. Oh dear, it lost it. It's not my friend. It did not listen to me. Aha. Here it is. Give the gift of but getting now outside. Now we have to go through the Lightly ad. fabric keeps you warm, not hot. There we go. guys have fun dancing to that one yeah that is kind of a silly silly song isn't it 
I like the music with that song. It's so happy. They're so happy to have their hot chocolate. All right, let me pull my camera in. All right, did you guys sit back down? Are we settled in for our last story? Yeah? Okay, last one is called Dinos in the Snow. These dinosaurs have an amazing snow day. How do you think they warm up at the end of the day? Do you guys have any guesses? This is by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Laura Rader. Okay, I'm gonna pull you in closer so you can see these cool, cool pictures. These dinos have a such a fun day. All right, here we go. Ready? Dinos, dinos on the go. Why are they out today? To run and romp, to slip and stomp, and ride their dino sleigh. Dinos, dinos in the snow, but won't they catch the flu? They're wearing boots with fluffy suits, hats, and mittens too. They are ready for the weather, aren't they? Barapasaurus builds the biggest snowman in the town. It's leaning slightly to the side. Oh no, it's falling down. Dinos, dinos in the snow. There they go. Boom, boom. Oh, Stegosaurus skates superbly. Watch her glide with grace. The crowd lets out a mighty cheer. She's sure to win first place. Dinos in the snow, there they go. Woo-hoo! Dilophosaurus dodges to the left and to the right. He moves so quick, he's never lost a single snowball fight. Dinos in the snow, there they go. Split, splat. Oh, dinos, dinos in the snow, where are they off to now? Oh, what rotten luck, they all got stuck. They need a dino plow. Dinos, dinos in the snow, hooray, they all got free. They cheer and then start out again. They're headed off to ski. This says, stuck in the snow? Call Triceraplow and go. <laughs> those dinos hit the snowy slopes. Now watch those dinos go. Geronosaurus slalom jumps and yells, Geronimo! Dinos in the snow, there they go. Wish, whoosh. Supersaurus snowboards swiftly. Wow, she sure can slide. Look out, she's caused an avalanche right down the mountainside. <gasps> dinos, dinos, there they go. Swish, swoosh. Oh dear. Oh, T-Rex tries tobogganing. He's faster than the wind. Let's hope he doesn't crash and burn while headed round the bend. Dinos in the snow, there they go. <gasps> oh no. Dinos, dinos in the snow, it's time to go warm up. The fire roars, Aunt Millie pours hot cocoa in their cups. Dinos, dinos in the snow, they're tuckered out tonight. Now they're done, but oh, what fun. Today was dynamite. Dinos in the snow, what a day. Night, night. <laughs> I like this little dinosaur here with his little hat on, roasting a marshmallow over the fire while everybody else is sleeping. 
too cute. Okay, so inside your craft bag for this week is this little packet of stuff to make your very own cup of hot cocoa. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I tried to do this craft and it is kind of a pain, okay? It is not peel and stick like we thought it was. It is actually gluing and it just does not work the way that the instructions say that it's going to work. So here is my suggestion for this craft, okay? So when you open up your little packet here, there's this little piece of, it's called acetate. So you see it's clear, you can see through it, and it's kind of in the shape of a cup, okay? If I were doing this craft at home with my children, this would go in the garbage, okay? It is slippery, it is slick, nothing wants to stick to it, including um, everything that is supposed to in here. And it just is a big, big mess. So what I would do if I was doing this craft at home with my kids, is I would take this piece of foam here and I would glue it to just a regular piece of paper, okay? And then I would use the little pieces of tissue paper that they have and I would just have my kids glue those on the inside of here, okay? And then there's a bottom that you can put on, but this little piece right here that's supposed to stick it on, it doesn't really stick very well. So you're gonna need some glue. And then there's also a little top piece little whipped cream and sprinkles and a straw. And same thing, it's got a little piece that it says will stick on there, but it doesn't stick very well. You're gonna want glue on that too. And then there's some um, cotton balls that you can use as marshmallows, again, with some glue. It also comes with this little string. You can use this string to um, hook onto the back and then tie it, and then you can hang it somewhere, um, but you certainly don't have to. If you have any little magnet pieces at home, you could glue one of those on the back and it could be a magnet for your fridge or you could just hang it on your wall, wherever you wanna put it. But if I was doing the craft at home with my children, that is how I would choose to do it. Um, now you guys can do whatever you want or feel comfortable with. I am very anxious to see them because I think they could turn out really, really cute. Um, but it's just, a big mess trying to use that acetate. I would show you, it took me forever to get this here and I actually ended up gluing it accidentally to the little piece of paper I was using um, because every, it, it's just, it's a mess. It takes forever for the glue to dry and then you have to glue this piece on to the slippery thing and it takes forever for it to dry too. I mean, it's definitely possible but it's gonna take a lot of patience that I know that my kids would not have and I actually as a grown up didn't even have. <laughs> so those are my suggestions for the craft and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for joining me again this week and I'll see you next time.